Oh, Brian here. I'm going to do a painting today. Um, what I got is a 16 by 20 canvas. I got some Creative Inspirations paint mixed with Floetrol. I didn't use any water in this paint today. Um, I do have some white that I had mixed up before, so it has a little bit of water in it. And this blue was mixed up prior. It has a little bit of water in it. But these, these other, these Creative Inspirations paints don't have any water in them. I'm not going to use any silicone or additive of any kind other than what I sprayed in the cups to let the paint come out. This white that I had, I mixed a little bit of yellow with because I didn't want a, a solid white background. But that's what I'm going to use for my negative space. So what I got. I got a mixed up blue. I'm not sure what brand or any colors or anything, but I mixed up a blue. Then I got phalo blue, titanium blue, permanent red, uh, cadmium yellow hue, and light green. Those are all creative inspiration paints. I'm going to make two dirty cups. I'm going to try and do the flip and slide and then some infusion. I got some other white that's mixed up a little bit thinner. Not a lot thinner. A little bit thinner. Then I'm going to try and do that infusion thing with. Okay. And I don't want the blues next to each other. So... Oh, blue, red, or blue, green, blue, red, yellow, red, blue, yellow. Yeah. And we're going to put a little bit of black in these spots. So, take some of this thinner white, put a bit in there. gonna try and do a kind of a combination of two different people's techniques that they've been doing because I like them both and I don't usually work with blues at all I mean I put blues in some stuff but I don't work with three different shades often more of a red or green Sorry I'm not talking much, I'm just kind of concentrating on what I'm doing. Most people that have watched videos kind of speed it up through this bit anyway. I know I do sometimes.
really have no idea what to expect out of what I'm doing right now. I'd like to say I have a clear plan, but I don't. It could be all bad mixing of the way to mix colors. I don't don't really know. That's what I got. Oh, let's do this. And swirl it. And swirl it. Just a little bit. That ain't gonna help. And then I got this white yellow that I mixed up. And we're just gonna pour some of that on there. thinking I don't have enough but I'm gonna put a lot of sorry you can't see this it's a secret Shh, you don't look that was a good seven ounces of paint there it should cover this pretty good. I wasn't going to run it to the edges anyway. I need more white. I'm bummed. There are better tools for spreading paint than this, but this was what was right there. a lot of paint on this. Maybe it's too thick. That was very sloppily done. I think sloppily is the word. And there are, there are bubble, air bubbles all over it. So we're gonna throw a torch at it just to pop some bubbles. try and do right.
Okay, so I got my two foot cups on there. And I'm going to let them drain down a little bit. I did put silicone in them, so they should drain better. I'm wondering if I don't put a thick enough coat of silicone when I spray my cups. But I don't want it to affect the paint that I got in there. If I don't want silicone in a pour, I don't want the silicone off the cups going into the paint and affecting the painting. If that makes any sense, I don't know. So we're going to take some of this thinner white. We're going to do just some around each cup. This one. That one came up too soon. white. We can't find the lid for it now. Well, that infusion thing is, is definitely more difficult than people make it look. And the flip and slide thing definitely needs less paint. Yes, this painting is not going to be anything special. should have had before I rolled that off that corner.
Yeah, this is just going to be a freaking mess. Because I slammed the paint too hard. cells that I did have are totally gone. I don't know whether torching is going to bring me up. where you guys can see it better, but... This is I don't know. Still a lot of paint on there, but I don't know where I want to pour it off. Don't want to know where I want these lines to twist and turn to now. in here. I don't know whether I can fix that or not. I gotta change these gloves or something. It needs more manipulating. So far you if you watch this whole thing, you've watched 19 minutes of me making a mess. center. I have to start using something to support the center of my canvases. I use way too much paint. Everything ends up goopy in the middle. I don't like this painting at all.
it just got millions of little white dots all over it like I sprayed it with some hair or some some of that stuff that you spray it's paint it's, it's called spray paint Nothing's going to save this. Well, I don't think introducing more paint to this is going to help it. And since I don't scrape paintings, it's going to dry eventually and we'll see what we got I'm not liking it at all liking you did it some of you might I mean, it's, it's green. It's got a lot of green in it but that wasn't meant to be, really. The red really muddied up. There's a weird alien head thing in here. I... no. <laughs> I was thinking I might take a straw and blow on it for a bit, but that's not going to help it. Alright, thanks for watching my spell. You guys have a great day. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to see upcoming videos. Not all my videos are this bad. Not all my paintings turn out this bad. You guys have a great night. Uh, Gio, yeah, yeah.